Hello everyone. <clears throat> so this is our 100 hours content. We'll be looking towards the 100 hour contents that will be going forward for two months, for the two months. So let's see. Here we'll be uh, learning about for mathematics. We'll be learning the mathematics. For IITJ, we'll be covering five chapters, vectors, complex numbers, theory of equations, series and sequences, determinants and matrix. Uh, why did I am covering these chapters? Because these chapters will be um, basic chapters and these all chapters will be useful in other subjects as well. Like mostly vectors, complex numbers, theory of equation. I think all, all of these chapters will be using in physics. You will be seeing it all these in physics as well. Everywhere you will be seeing. So we have to learn these all chapters in a very strong way. This is This should be our strong topic. So here, first we'll be covering vectors. Number of sessions will be 15. Here we'll be learning vectors, algebra, position vector, direct transmission, dot product, cross product, triple product, etc. Then complex number, 20 sessions. Here we'll be learning complex numbers, square root of complex number, theorem, cube, and nth root of unity, product. Theory of equation, 20 sessions. Linear and quadratic equation, transformation of quadratic equation, condition for common roots, location of roots, etc. Sequence and series. You will be learning arithmetic progression, geometric progression, harmonic sequence, etc. Determinants in matrices, minor and cofactor, expansion of determinate matrices, types of matrices, adjoint and inverse of matrices, and many more questions are also there. We'll be looking all these topics one by one. So in each lecture, we'll be covering. Initial, we'll be seeing what we are be covering in this lecture. Then we'll be learning one concept on that concept we'll be solving one or two problems then another concept then one or two problems in this way we will be followed ahead at the end we will be summarize what we have learned today and what we, uh, topic we'll be learning in the next session so here we'll be solving many problems that is based on iit or j advance and j mens <clears throat> okay so after this whole field i will be giving you one or two problems for your homework and we will be discussing in the next class those problems. So we'll be solving lots of problems here. So let's discuss about one initial basics or idea of the initial topic that is complex number. What are complex number? A number which can be denoted in the form of a plus iota b. This is known as complex number. Let's denote this complex number as z, z of a comma b, which is equals to a plus iota b. This is how we denote the complex number. Okay, so. This is how we denote the complex number. Now, we'll be seeing the graphical representation of complex number. What is the graphical representation? This is our x-axis, y-axis. This is our z, a, b. This angle is this angle is theta. Okay, this is how we denote the uh, complex number in graphical form. Now let's, uh, as it is also a number. So in normal numeric numbers, we see, first we know about the numbers like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we read about the addition. How we'll be doing the addition of those two numbers? How we'll be doing the subtraction of two, uh, those two numbers? So let's see the addition. Addition of two complex numbers, Z1, Z2. Let me denote these two complex numbers as X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Here, X1 denotes the real part, Y1 denotes the imaginary part. X2 denotes the real part, Y2 denotes the imaginary parts. So, let's uh, do the summation. So, summation of those two numbers will be Z. Z that is A plus iota B. So, we have to find what is A and p so let's see z equals to z1 plus z2 because summation of two numbers is always a number right so same way summation of two complex number will be a complex number that's why i have denoted in this form 
plus we convert this two numbers in this form. What is sad one? Sad one is x1. Let's here first write what is how can we note this z1 x1 plus i beta y1. How will we be denoting x2? x2 plus i beta y2. Okay, so what is z1? x1 plus i beta y1 plus x2 plus iota y2 this is how we denote the two complex number which is x1 plus x2 let's this is let's first look at here this is i am denoting r as real part and i as imaginary r this is real part this is imaginary part this is also a real part and this is imaginary part so there are two real part and imaginary part so first we will be combining both real part real part x1 plus x2 okay plus y1 y1 iota y1 iota y1 plus iota y2 this is x1 plus x2 can i take common y1 y2 y1 plus y2 okay so this is all now let's compare it with this number a plus iota b so this is what can i denote it as x can i denote it as e e plus can i denote y1 plus y2 as b yeah i can i y b so we hear what is e e equals to x1 plus x2 b equals to y1 plus y2 this is how we do the addition now let's see the subtraction Subtraction of two complex numbers Z1 and Z2. X1, Y1. X2, Y2. Now, let me denote this Z as Z1 minus Z2. We have to do the subtraction. So, let's write. X1. This Z1 can be denoted as X1 plus iota Y1, right? Z2 can be denoted as X2 plus iota Y2, right? Okay. So this is how we denote x1 plus z1 and z2. Now let's do the subtraction. Now everyone tell what is in real part. This is real, right? This is imaginary, real, imaginary. So we will be combining the real part and image first. So what are the real parts x1 here? This is minus of x2. So this can be written as x1 plus minus x2. A plus iota y1 minus plus so minus of iota y2 right right okay so this can be written as x1 minus x2 this can be written as iota y1 minus iota y2 which is equal to x1 minus x2 plus iota common linear y1 minus y2 this is how we denote our complex uh, subtraction this is the subtraction of complex number now okay first let's see what is this iota we will we are using the iota from starting till end now let's see what is this iota this iota is denoted as root of minus one as we know we can never take the root of negative number right so suppose if someone told you to take the root of minus four how will we take it so what we'll be doing we'll be making it like this root of minus one into root of four this can be written as like this and this will be iota two so this is two iota root of negative four is two iota now what will be iota into iota Negative root of negative minus 1 into root of negative minus 1 will be negative 1. Iota cube will be root of minus root of minus 1, right? This can be denoted as minus iota. Iota 4 will be negative 1. I square into I square. Let's write it like this. What is I square? Minus 1 into minus 1 this is equals to 1. So I can say iota equals to iota iota square equals to negative 1 iota cube equals to negative iota iota 4 equals to 1 
what will be iota 5 i can write it as iota 4 into iota which is equals to iota and this sequence will repeat again and again now let's see multiplication of two complex numbers z1 into z2 i'll be doing that okay so let's write first the z1 z1 is x1 plus y1 iota x2 plus y2 iota so you have uh, studied uh, multiplication of two quadratic equations or linear equations in your most probably linear equations in your 9th and 10th standard so then same way we'll be doing first we'll be multiplying this x1 with this this x1 with this so then we will get x1 into x2 plus x1 y2 iota then we will multiply this and this here we will get y1 plus x2 iota not plus y1 x2 iota here y1 y2 iota square so can i write it like this x1 x2 can i take common iota here yeah x1 y2 plus y1 x2 iota square is just no previous here we have seen iota square is negative one so this i can write it as minus of y1 y2 right right so this is what our multiplication of complex number. so you can see here what are real part and imaginary part x1 x2 as no iota is there this is real part here with both of terms we have iota so this is imaginary part what about this one this is real part so can i write it that as like this x1 x2 minus i1 y2 plus iota times see x1 x2 minus y1 y2 plus iota times x1 y2 plus y1 x2 so this is what the multiplication of two complex number. i hope it is clear to you all let's solve first problem example you have given two complex numbers z1 equals to 1 plus 3 iota and z2 equals to 2 plus 1 iota we have to find multiplication addition subtraction of both complex number and the real and missing part now tell what is the real part here in x1 let's mark real part with red and imaginary part with yellow okay so what is the real part as we can see this is the real part same as in z2 this is the real part which is the imaginary part this and this okay let's find first addition z1 plus z2 which is equals to 1 plus 3 iota you all can try pause the video and try then we'll be looking for a solution so have 1 plus 3 iota plus 2 plus 1 iota which is equal to let's combine the real part 1 and 2 which is 3 plus 3 and 1 this 3 plus 1 4 iota now let's find the subtraction of two complex number okay one plus three iota minus two plus one iota which is equals to one minus two that is negative one three iota minus one iota which is equals to two iota okay now let's mark the real part here which is the real part three here which is the real part negative one now let's mark the imaginary part four iota and two iota fine okay now multiplication z1 into z2 which is can be denoted as 1 plus 3 iota into 2 plus iota so let's multiply 2 1 into 2 2 1 into iota iota 3 iota into 2 that is 6 iota 3 iota into iota 3 iota square iota square is negative 1 i can write is minus 3 which is equals to 3 minus 6 that is negative 1 6 plus 1 plus 7 iota which is real part this one is real part 
this is imaginary part i hope it is clear to you so this is just about the basics of mm, complex number we'll be learning uh, all these topics convectors complex number theory of equation sequence and series determinants and matrices and all in between them we'll be having quiz as well quiz x, x, uh, x uh, quizzes will also be there so we'll be seeing that uh, after every two or three session i will be giving you an assignment you have to solve them okay so fine thank you everyone